In many institutions, vascular CT is a well-known routine tool for the evaluation of central and peripheral vessels. It is an essential tool in the diagnosis of life-threatening diseases such as aortic dissection or pulmonary embolism, as well as the management of stent planning in patients with AAA. With Syngovia, you benefit from clinical applications that support both speed and routine, which are essential in challenging cases. This movie will show you how to evaluate CT vascular data sets using Syngovia. First, make sure that the study is correctly assigned to the CT vascular workflow. Otherwise, click the right mouse button and select Open with CT Vascular. As soon as you open this task, Syngovia has automatically pre-processed the images by removing the table and bones, and segmenting and labelling the applicable vessels, such as the aorta, the left and right runoffs, the renal arteries, and the internal and external carotids. They will be displayed as curved planar reformations in a dedicated layout. Depending on the body region and the type of data set, Syngovia will automatically choose between different algorithms to mask out bones. You can optimize the automatic bone removal manually by activating Edit Bones option, then clicking on any area that you want to include in or remove from the mask. The cursor changes when you are on a region that can be added or when you are on a region that can be excluded. The mask highlighted in is updated accordingly. To finish editing and update the bone removal results, simply deactivate the Edit Bones icon. In case of suboptimal results, you can also switch between algorithms using, for example, the Structure Isolation mode if you want to start a user-defined bone mask from scratch, defining the areas to mask or unmask as in the Edit Bone Removal mode. After checking bone removal, you might want to have a first look at the MPR segments. Notice that you can navigate by pressing the right mouse button and dragging vertically or by scrolling the mouse wheel. You can also move or rotate the reference lines to look for a specific orientation. To enhance your workflow, the Vessel Surf tool allows immediate 3D navigation even without the existence of center lines or in occluded vessels. Have a look at the CT Cardiac eClip for more details on this tool. The main vessels which have been automatically detected are labelled and displayed as a CPR on the corresponding segments, speeding up your evaluation. This view is very useful since it shows at a glance the complete path of the vessel and its lumen in a longitudinal view and a cross-sectional view orthogonal to the centre of the vessel. Navigation is really simple. Just press the right mouse button and drag the mouse horizontally over the CPR to rotate around the axis or drag it horizontally over the cross-sectional segment which is framed with a yellow border. Make sure that a yellow reference moves over the vessels indicating the position of the frame segment. In order to facilitate your workflow, Syngovia automatically structures your procedure into different workflow steps. In the vessel definition step, you can find a set of semi-automatic and manual tools in case you need to correct center lines or create additional center lines. To create additional center lines, for example, to get a CPR of the mesenteric artery, try the multiple clicks mode. You just need to set a few points along the vessel. Syngovia's tracing support will calculate the paths in between, trying to follow the center of the vessel. You can set the points in any of the displayed segments, on the MPRs, on the VRT, or even on the available CPRs. Rename your center line by double-clicking on the vessel name and editing it. To correct existing center lines, Syngovia offers you two modes, Control Point Edit and Freehand Edit. The first mode allows you to modify the center line by moving, adding or deleting the control points that define the path of the vessel. 
with freehand edit, you can manually redraw the path of the vessel as you wish. Remember to go back to the center line once you have overcome the area you want to correct, otherwise the remaining part will be excluded. You can also extend an existing center line by clicking over the end of the point of a center line. You will realize that it is the end point because it is shown as a thicker point. Then add more points over the vessel with individual clicks and with a double click to finish. To see more editing options, right click over the center line. In the following workflow step, Vessel Evaluation, you will find some tools in case quantification is needed, for example for assessing the severity of a stenosis or planning stent placement. Click on the Stenosis Measurement tool. Notice that you also can find it in the mini toolbar. That will activate three or two references, depending on the properties of the tool. If two references are activated, drag the yellow one over the stenosis and drag the green one proximal or distal before or after the stenosis. Singovia will calculate the minimum and maximum diameter for every reference and the stenosis ratio in area and diameter by comparing the lumen on the yellow marker with the green one. The distance between the markers shown in the bottom will help you determine the stent length. Click on the Create Finding tool if you want to send the measurement to your Findings Navigator and further archiving. For reporting purposes, it is also very convenient to create radial CPR ranges located in the upper left corner menu. For standardization of your reporting procedure, we have created the rapid results step. Here you have the option not only to create a standardized report, but also to define the default reconstructions you would like to perform in every patient. As an example, select CPR and create radial CPR ranges for both left and right renal arteries. Then change your MPR segment to MIP thin and add a parallel range step. Remember to choose the desired orientation. To finish, include a radial range step over the VRT segments. Save your protocol, which then can be used easily every time you need it by just clicking on the play button. Results will be saved in the series navigator for further archiving. For the treatment planning of abdominal and thoracic aortic aneurysms, Rapid Results offers a dedicated workflow called Rapid Stent Planning. This workflow guides you through an automatic completion of manufacturer-specific stent order forms. Just select the corresponding template, click on the play button and follow the steps. And in addition to this, you also have the option of adding individual customized templates. All results are conveniently collected in a report. Saving and archiving this report and the results series is as easy as completing the workflow by clicking the Save and Send button.